joining me now, Kentucky Senator Rand Paul. Senator, uh, science does not matter for these people. It's long since been about science. Uh, your reaction to the CDC recommendation and concern that schools are going to yeah. take it to heart in the fall? It's about submission. There's never been any evidence of spreading events in the schools. The kids do very well with this. The idea that we're going to put masks on the kids and then we're going to punish the kids who, for their own medical decision making or their parents, decide not to submit to this mandate. To me, it's the biggest basically advertisement and encouragement to get out of the government schools. Go to private schools if you can afford them. Teach your kids at home. But don't submit to the state. Don't submit to the government. You know, you, not only are they making you wear a mask, they're going to indoctrinate you with critical race theory. So it's a win-win if you leave the schools, if you're able to. And there's been more of an exodus from the government schools this year than any other year because they're not following science. They just want you to be, you're, you know, you're part of the collective, you're part of the hive, do as you're told, don't think, your kids don't belong to you, they belong to the state. These are all arguments for trying to flee the schools well, if you can. The chief scientist today on Bloomberg International, Senator Paul, for the WHO, said that with 500,000 new cases and 9,300 deaths, uh, this this pandemic is far from over. They don't want this thing to be over. They don't want this thing to, you know, to be done because then their powers are cur curtailed. If you if you watch the some of the networks that are into the fear mongering, everything's the Delta variant, the Delta variant. Well, they had 53,000 people in England that got the Delta variant. And the death rate was actually less than the death rate with vaccine for unvaccinated folks. So the thing is, is yes, it's transmissible, but it turns out it's about 10 times less deadly than the disease was a year ago. So we need to quit the fear mongering. We need to let people go back to school. Look, Europe's been in school for over a year. We still have schools in California in place where they're still not teaching the kids in, in person. It's a crime against these children. More children are dying from suicide than are dying from COVID. You're more likely to be struck by lightning. Your child, you need to have lightning protectors on your child if you're really concerned about COVID for your children. Yeah, one of the mothers uh, online today said, putting a mark on a child uh, and trying to shame that child uh, on, on, on a medical decision is, it's gotta be unconstitutional. I mean, that is just, I can't think of a thing you could it's do to a child based, in a classroom. And, and it's all based, and it's all, it's all based on Dr. Fauci's ignoring the science. A hundred million people have had the infection naturally. If you add those people to the vaccinated people, we are at herd immunity. Every day you look at the yeah. rates going down, the death rate going down, it's because we are at herd immunity, but Dr. Fauci refuses to acknowledge natural immunity. It's what vaccines are based on, for goodness right. sakes, and he ignores it, but by doing so, now he wants to force every newborn to have a vaccine, and oh, every newborn and everybody to wear all evil. these masks. There's no science behind it, it's all conjecture. Zero. Now, Senator, quickly, when the Senate returns to session, you're going to challenge some of these mass mandates. Tell us briefly about that. Yeah, I'm introducing legislation that will get rid of the federal mandate. This happened by executive order by President Biden, and the airlines hide behind it. I, for one, am a frequent traveler. I'm sick and tired of getting on the plane. Instead of them thanking me for buying a seat and buying a ticket, they tell me I could go to jail for not wearing a mask. Then they tell me I could go to jail if I'm unable to open the door. Then they say, God forbid, you brought a drink on board so you, you know, could relax because of all the mandates. They'll put you in jail for that, too. So I want them to get I want to get on the plane and somebody thank me for buying a ticket instead of telling me three different ways they're going to send me to jail if I don't submit to some mandate. But they hide behind the federal mandate. They kind of act like, oh, it's not us. Yeah. We, airlines aren't doing this to you. It's your federal government. They begged for this, the airlines. And the thing is, they begged for our money. They quit flying their planes. And now they're begging to continue these mandates. The mandates now, need to end. They're not working. You're more likely to get it in their house than you are to get it on a yeah. plane. Senator, thank you. Good to see you tonight. Thank you.